Hello everyone out there who has been following our series of decision making. Today we are concluding this series in style by taking one particular example that every normal human being goes through and deals with in life. Remember we said step one is define the problem. Assuming as any other normal being you are faced with a situation of an erection, be it a boy or a girl. We all go through this. You do not have to run away from this and start rebuking. Speaking in tongues, it is easy. As if it's very evil to feel that way you are feeling. This is very normal and so you ought to accept the fact that it has happened and you are feeling the way you are feeling. Saved or not saved, this is part of life. And it's, it simply means you are no more. Point number two is explore the alternatives. Ask yourself a question. What can I do to help myself calm down? At this point, you need to be truthful to yourself and look at all possible solutions that can help you get out of this situation. Take for instance, to help yourself out of this, you can choose to have sex. Take a bath, join friends, and maybe play soccer or any game with friends or occupy your mind with something positive you love doing like reading, listening to music, etc. The truth is, that all these can help you calm down. And so, they are all alternatives at your exposure to be explored. But, when you run away from realities of life, you will not be able to know all these different alternatives. And so, you will easily be taken advantage of. Point three is consider the consequences. At this point, you are to look at the alternatives above, one by one in depth, looking at the possible outcomes of each alternative. Take for example, if you choose to have sex so as to calm down yourself. Yes, you will calm down, but remember, premarital sex is a sin. You will have lost your virginity. Your respect will be gone. You are likely to contract STIs, early pregnancies, and many other consequences. If you choose to take a bath, you will be clean, you will be respected, you will have preserved yourself for the future, for the future right partner, free from sexual sin and all those other consequences. Look at the consequences of every alternative you have and this will greatly inform your next step. When you go to point number four, which is identify your values, ask yourself a question like, of what value am I? Are you worth being taken to a lodge simply because you want to calm yourself down? Are you going to start drinking alcohol because you want to calm your sexual feelings down? Oh, are you worthy taking the alcohol? Are you there to satisfy every person's feelings simply because they are your friends? Of what value are you in regard to what you are thinking of doing? Point number five is decide and act. Now, after you have looked through all the above, there should be a point you decide and take a decision to do that that you have concluded on. Remember, some decisions are personal. You may seek counsel, but eventually it will be you to take the decision. Some people are always afraid of deciding for fear of the outcomes, but then you have to take that decision. If you feel like having sex, and that is your best decision that you have concluded on, then go ahead and do it. 
if going to play is the decision, then go and play. A decision is a decision when it is put to practice. Otherwise, for as long as you don't implement it, it remains an idea. Our last point is point number six. Evaluate. This is the point where you are now going to look at the consequences of what you have decided to do. If you choose to have sex and you realize that either you have conceived, got an STI, broken the trust you had with your friends, lost respect, or feel guilty, then you will know that the next time a similar situation happens, you will know how to deal with it better than you did the first time. Remember, you are, the, you are to be very careful with life decisions because certain consequences can be part of us the rest of our lives and that will always haunt you the rest of your lives. For example, if, when any operation is to be done on me, the medication that will be used to sterilize me will be twice or even thrice stronger than what would be used on you out there. Simply because my background of drug addiction made me in a situation that I don't easily respond to medication sometimes. I feel bad about it, but then there is nothing much I can do about it because I have to pay the price. Friends, it is written in Joshua chapter 24 verses 15. But if serving the Lord seems undesirable to you, then choose for yourselves this day whom you will serve. Whether the gods of your ancestors served beyond the Ephrates or the gods of Amorites, in whose land you are living. But as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. I took my decision to serve the Lord and to always decide right about my life. I don't know you, about you, out there. This day, you need to decide to start deciding right about your life and your surroundings. Is there something you are struggling with silently? Break the silence and inbox me or give us a call as Scripture Union and we talk through it. Remember not to lean on your own understanding when deciding but rather to always trust in the Lord. God bless you and thank you for being part of the Decide series that we have concluded today.